All right, everybody. Today is an exciting day. All right, we picked up our new wheels. They are bigger than anything I've ever ran before. More expensive, more flashy. It's a completely different direction, but I'm excited about it. Here they are. These are three piece I forged Daytona wheels. I uh, picked them up off of OfferUp for a insanely good deal. The person who sold it to me didn't really know much about them and uh, they didn't know offsets or anything so I picked it up on a gamble and my gamble paid off. So the backs are gonna bolt up just perfectly, everything clears, the offset's gonna be great, and uh, those look awesome. The fronts, the front offset are really nice as well. They would have been perfect. They clear my Brembo's and everything, except for the stupid center hub sticks out past the freaking center cap. And uh, I'm not gonna run them like that, that just looks retarded. Um, so I'm going to pick up a one inch spacer and put it on there and I'll be able to run my center caps again. And then tires, I bought them last night. I didn't even get to check them out. They're uh, Toyo proxies all the way around. Um, the tread wear all looked good on all of them, but I didn't get to see a made on date. Um, I didn't look because it was irrelevant just because of the deal I was getting on these wheels. Um, oh yeah, these are old. These are from 2006. So tires are going to need to be replaced. Um, they were kept in a garage. Um, there's no like weather cracks or anything on them. Um, they don't look dry rotted at all. But if I want to be doing any dynos or, you know, burnouts and stuff, smart thing would do is to replace them. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I'm going to pull out my box of lug nuts. I have a two inch spacer lying around. I'll go ahead and see how those fit. Um, with those just dangling, two inches doesn't seem like it's going to be bad. And then we're going to pull out our V6 springs from the fourth gen that are on the rear end. We're going to throw back in um, our lowered springs uh, and see how well these tuck. All right, so just pulled the springs out that I currently have in. These ones on the left are V6 springs. Uh, I was using these for drag racing. They have better rate, weight transfer. Uh, and then these right here are Moog HD springs that I cut a couple coils out of. So we're gonna switch to those and uh, fix some of this fender gap. Um, yeah. All right, so car's all lowered it's on i think it looks freaking great i had to use the two inch spacers it wasn't part of the plan but honestly if flush is what you're going for that's perfect and then in the back mm. girls look at fine peeking brembo's through it tires are all flat so I'm about to put air in all of them and uh, give this puppy a wash. All right, guys, here she is, all finished. I think she's freaking beautiful. Woo! I think I'm gonna go with the bigger tire in the back. That's a 30 series. I want to jump to a 35, but. I mean, it's beautiful. You can see everything tucks. Woo! We. Oui. All right, guys. Just wanted to say thank you for watching the video. If you've made it this far, I appreciate you watching the whole thing. Um, if you like the wheels, give this video a thumbs up. If you hated it, or you know you have some suggestions, leave me a comment. Um, if this is something you're into, hit that subscribe button. I got a lot of good content coming. 
the car, it runs great. You know, we ran 12.5 uh, consecutively a bunch of times, so it's moving now. Uh, so now we're going to focus on making it look good. Um, next for the car is interior. So I got some things planned. Um, honestly, I've already done a bunch of stuff. I'm just waiting to drop videos. So stay tuned, and I'll see you next time.